Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101 and today I'm showing you how to make a honey bun cake. Yes, this is just like the honey bun that you'd buy at any of your convenience shops. Now, the recipe came from a family cookbook and my Aunt Nadine has told me that she's received more compliments on this cake than any other cake she's baked. So, the ingredients you're gonna need for this is a 15 ounce yellow cake box mix. You're going to need four eggs, three fourths of a cup of vegetable oil, one third of a cup of water, and one cup of sour cream. Now for the middle of the cake, you're gonna need one cup of lightly packed brown sugar and one teaspoon of cinnamon. The top of the cake calls for one and one half cups of powdered sugar, one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, and two tablespoons approximately of whole milk. Now let me show you how we're gonna use these five ingredients to get the cake mixed. It's simple and easy. Add your cake mix, your oil, the water, four eggs, and your one cup of sour cream. And your one cup of sour cream is eight ounces, which I just buy a tub of the sour cream in the eight ounce tub, that way you know exactly what you're needing. Now with electric mixer on medium high speed, you're gonna beat this for the next three minutes, scraping down your bowl as you go. After three minutes, this is what your cake batter is going to look like. Next, add your brown sugar and cinnamon into a small bowl and with a whisk, just get in there and make sure you get that cinnamon well incorporated with your brown sugar. Oh yeah, Ooh, I can see how this is going to be absolutely scrumptious. Now we're going to start assembling the cake. In a 10 by 15 inch pan, I've sprayed with Pam. You also may grease it and add flour. I'm going to add half our cake batter into this pan evenly. I'm just gonna add half of it. Now if you wanna make this in a 13 by nine inch pan, by all means be my guest. That way your honey buns will be thicker, but I like my honey buns really nice and a um, little thinner than how they would bake in a 13 by nine inch pan, but I'm gonna leave that up to you to decide. And we'll get up here in this corner. And next, you want to shake it out, kind of tap it, make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Now we bring that lovely brown sugar and cinnamon back. Oh my gosh, I can see how this is going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're going to sprinkle it as a layer in between the cake. And at this point, I've got my oven preheating to 300 and 25 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, you may want to take your hands and just evenly spread it out because every time you bite into it, you just want a big bite of this brown sugar and cinnamon. It's going to make all the difference in the world, I think, because really I've never made this cake before. So I'm real curious and excited. Uh, to share with all of you and to definitely dig into it and find out what it's going to taste like with our end results. Now we're going to add the rest of our cake batter to the top of this until you get it evenly distributed. And you know what I know that works best is the back of a spoon or a spatula. I've evenly got my cake batter spread out evenly over the cake and now this goes in the oven for the next 25 minutes. For the glazed topping for those honey buns, I'm going to add the powdered sugar. I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla and I'm adding a tablespoon at a time of milk to get it to that consistency the way we need. And I can see we're gonna need a little bit more milk. Because when we take this out of the oven, we're going to add this glaze immediately and we're gonna drizzle it over the top. So while the honey buns start cooling down, 
this can just seep right down into where that sugar that brown sugar and honey layer is and also it can get right into the mm, put a smidgen more milk in there and that looks absolutely perfect and if you want to get a little thinner you may but that's about what you're looking for all right approximately two tablespoons of milk now if you get too much it's going to get too thin and if you put too little it's not going to have this consistency that you're going to need for the top of that honey bun cake Woo -hoo. eight more minutes before the cake comes out of the oven Woo! does it smell delicious in here honey bun cake has baked and now is the time to add that glaze on the top oh yeah oh yeah we're just gonna keep adding it here to the top i like taking a spoon getting it all out taking your time oh yeah make it you're fantastic and oh my gosh i gotta show you here mm hmm look how that cinnamon around the edges is coming through oh yeah oh yeah absolutely fantastic and if you could smell the cinnamon mm, and the brown sugar and this cake and the glaze that's going over the top oh mercy mercy it is going to be absolutely scrumptious Thank you, thank you, Aunt Nadine, for sharing this cake recipe. I'm gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I'll be back to cut into it. I just had to come down here and show you what it looks like. Look at the corner of that. Oh, this is called a honey bun cake. Oh my goodness, it's going to be fantastic digging into this honey bun cake oh it's still a little warm but here goes i just like using a plastic knife when my cake is still in my pan that way it's not gonna scratch up my pan little tip there these do not scratch your pan up oh my gosh does it smell out of this world and look at that oh my gosh just gonna stick it here on a plate oh my goodness i've got to just give it incredible dig in here we go mm -mm. Mm -mm. absolutely delicious fantastic that sour cream has made it nice and moist the cinnamon the brown sugar has given it a burst of flavor mm. Mm -mm -mm. just like a honey bun y'all except this is much fresher mm. Mm -mm. can't get enough of it mm. and look at here on the inside Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is a cake to add to your list. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Give me thumbs up. Leave me a comment here on YouTube or Instagram. And thanks a million for watching, y'all. I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.